Hello and welcome back everyone to VBA A to Z. In this new series, Plug and Play, we'll look at some of the best ready to use VBA codes that you can use to automate your work and significantly improve your efficiency. No prior programming experience is required. However, basic understanding of Microsoft Office applications like Excel will definitely help. In this episode, I'm going to show you code that will consolidate worksheets from all Excel workbooks within a folder. So for example, if I go to my folder here, within the reports folder, there's an input folder. Basically, it is gonna, the code is going to open all this workbook one by one and copy all the sheets within the files into a master workbook. First, let's go to the blog and copy the codes. You can find the link to download this from the video descriptions. I'm going to quickly copy this. Okay, and now I'm going to start up my Excel and create a new blank workbook. Now go to Developer tab and go to your Visual Basic. If you do not see this, quickly right-click, customize your ribbon, and make sure the developer checkbox is ticked and click on OK. So I'm going to go to my Visual Basic. OK, from here, insert a new module and uh, paste the code. Let me just get rid of that line and paste the code that you copied. First, I'm going to quickly walk you through what the code is doing, where are some of the variables that you can update if, as part of your requirement, and then we'll give a quick demo. So this is just a comment, um, and now this part is basically just a declaration of some of the variables that you will be using within the code. And here are the variables that you'll have to update. Uh, dear path, this is the, the directory path where all your inputs are going to be located. For my example, I'm going to go and copy this. Similarly, you can do the same. I'm going to get rid of that. And within this, within these codes, I'm going to paste my input path. And you can also specify where you want the output to go. So for example, if I want my output file to go into this folder, I'll just update the output folder as well accordingly. Right click, paste. Okay, this is the output file name. Let's call this master file. And then this part is gonna basically um, suffix date and time to the name of the file. We'll know when it's generated. So basically the file is being consolidated, uh, you know, like the master file is a new workbook that's been created here. So it's gonna create a new workbook every time you run this code. And this portion is basically looping through all the files that you specified in this uh, directory so it will keep on looping till the time all the files have been you know like processed so basically here I'm just uh, printing out in the immediate window it's printing out here what will be the folder part and uh, the file name and then this portion basically opens up the file uh, by uh, the mode as read and then uh, without updating the links so that's why it's faster after it opens the file, it goes through all the sheets within that and copy it to the master. So sh is a variable copy after the master workbook. So it copies to the master workbook after the first step. And then it goes on for all the sheets. So there's a loop and then within the loop, there's another loop within it. And once it process, it closed the workbook and then, you know, like uh, goes to the next file. Okay. So once it's done, it saves the file as uh, Celeste so X. And then it gives us a message box that's completed, else it just gives us that it completed with an error. Okay, so this portion will walk you through the next time, but this basically just to boost your code just to be faster. So we have updated our part, we have um, gone through this code. Let's give it a quick demo. We'll just run through this and see how it goes. So before we can run it, if I just open the file, if I just open the file to show you, so this is how the, the this is just a demo file, and then if I show you another file, so here's another file. So these two sheets will go into one workbook after we run this code. Okay, so let's give it a run. We'll just give it um. Let's just run for these two workbook first and see how it works. So uh, I'll just click on run. So it's process to workbook. It says process completed successfully. So click on OK. So if I go to my output now, you'll see a master file and then it has the date and the time um, in it. 
so if I open this master file there's two sheets here so now let's try to run for all the files I'm just del delete this and bring back all this file into the main folder and see how fast it can do it for us so let's run so two files three all the files are being processed so fast so this is done so if I go back to my output folder you can see like it has added all the sheets into you know like uh, into one master file so guys that's all I have for you uh, today thanks for watching and have a good day bye bye